You know them, you love them, so come and get some. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 songs from the Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mixes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be ranking the most memorable and catchy songs featured within the awesome mixes found within the first two films in the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. Furthermore, they had to have been featured on the respective film's accompanying soundtrack. We'll be discussing plot points from within the movies, so a spoiler alert is probably in order. Number 10. My Sweet Lord, George Harrison There are more than a couple nods to nurturing and creation when it comes to the themes covered in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. This is why George Harrison's My Sweet Lord fits so well within the film's narrative. The ex-Beatles relaxing and atmospheric ode to Hinduism captures the wonder of seeing Planet Ego for the first time, while also serving as an interesting counterpoint to Ego's explanation to Peter about how the living planet met Quill's mother on Earth and fell in love. Number 9. The Chain, Fleetwood Mac Listen to the wind blow, watch the sun There's a very simple and direct reason why The Chain from Fleetwood Mac works so well within the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise, and it all has to do with chemistry. Many comic book adaptations attempt to establish an easy rapport between their characters, but Guardians is one of the few films where that sentiment practically leaps from the screen. The chain is used to great effect in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 to display exactly how tight these heroes are with one another, so much so that not even the most harrowing of situations can tear them apart. Number 8. I Want You Back, The Jackson 5 If Groot's brave sacrifice at the climax of the original Guardians of the Galaxy brought us to tears, then the reveal of the reincarnated baby Groot at the film's end has us weeping for joy. This wasn't just because the tiny tree monster was so damn cute either, but because the song playing on the soundtrack was simply perfect. I Want You Back by the Jackson 5 is a classic slice of upbeat soul goodness, so it naturally made sense for this to be the first song Baby Groot dances to behind the back of Drax the Destroyer. It's charming, it's adorable, and it makes us feel good all over every time we watch. Number 7. Brandy, You're a Fine Girl, Looking Glass. The sailor say Brandy, you're a fine girl. The second Guardians of the Galaxy film opens up with a sunny look at the courtship between Ego the Living Planet and Meredith Quill, as the soft rock of Looking Glass plays in the background. There's a girl in this harbor town, and she works, laying whiskey down, they say Brandy. A closer listen to the band's hit Brandy, You're a Fine Girl reveals a bit more, however, as the song discusses a waitress who serves up drinks to sailors as they wander in from elsewhere around the world. There's a clear parallel to Ego's propagation around the universe, his brief relationship with Meredith, and the story of lonely Brandy and her missing man. It may be sad and somewhat bittersweet, but it's also poignant and insightful. She hears them say Brandy, you're a fine girl. Number 6. Oh Child, Five Stair Steps. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Listen to these words. Guardians of the Galaxy fans can look at this next song in two very different ways. On the surface, Oh Child by Five Stair Steps is the song Star Lord sings as he attempts a dance off with Ronan the Accuser near the end of the first film. Although it's funny to watch Quill as he distracts Ronan long enough to make a grab at the Infinity Stone, fans can also look a bit deeper into Peter as a character, and think about how he might connect with this song on another level. Oh Child may serve as a source of comfort for Quill when he thinks about his lost mother, and how much he misses her. It's a touching track which affects both audience and character alike. Someday, yeah, we'll put it together and we'll get it undone. Number 5. Moonage Daydream, David Bowie. 
Sometimes, a song just works. The Guardians of the Galaxy franchise is, at its heart, a glorious space opera, the sort of film which can appeal to fans of Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica, and more. That being said, David Bowie's Moonage Daydream would have been the perfect addition to almost any scene they included in it. However, when Quill and his crew arrive at Nowhere, the psychedelic setting of a severed celestial head looks just a bit freakier, in the best possible way, when it's set to one of Bowie's outer space jams. Number 4. Father and Son, Cat Stevens. How can I try to explain? When I do, he turns away. Peter Quill goes through a number of revelations within the second Guardians of the Galaxy film. Not only does he have to contend with the knowledge that he's half celestial, but he also has to deal with Ego, the living planet, first as father, then as adversary. This is where the Cat Stevens song Father and Son comes in, but not quite where you might think. Instead, it deals with Quill's feelings for Yondu as his surrogate father figure, and his struggle in coming to terms with Yondu's sacrifice at the film's climax. Although both Peter and the audience feel some sort of closure as Yondu receives a proper Ravager funeral, this song gives the whole relationship just that much more meaning. All the times that I've cried, keep it all the things I knew inside. Number 3. Come and Get Your Love, Redbone. This was the scene that kicked off a franchise. And to be honest, can you think of a better way to introduce Peter Quill, the Star-Lord? Chris Pratt shows off his dance moves as he sets up his stealth mission on the planet Morag, all set up to the smooth and funky grooves of Redbone's Come and Get Your Love. The Guardians franchise is summed up quite well in this opening scene. A quirky and funny space saga with charm to spare, charismatic leads, and perhaps most importantly, a bitchin' soundtrack. Number 2, Mr. Blue Sky, Electric Light Orchestra. The next song on our list is similar to Redbone's Come and Get Your Love in that it perfectly sets the stage and tone for the film and its characters. Although Star-Lord and his crew are set up in the background, engaged in a fierce battle, it's Baby Groot who gets prime billing in the foreground as he dances to Mr. Blue Sky by Electric Light Orchestra. The combination of ELO's upbeat progressive rock, Baby Groot's dance moves, and the frenetic action makes for a picture-perfect opening for a fantastic Guardian sequel. Before we name our most awesome song, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm not in love, so don't forget it. Number 1. Hooked on a Feeling, Blue Swede. Hooked on a feeling. Blue Swede didn't write Hooked on a Feeling. Nevertheless, it's their version which has gone on to define the first Guardians of the Galaxy film, and not just because it was used prominently in the movie's trailer. Instead, it's just how loud, brash, and boisterous Blue Swede get with their Hooked on a Feeling, which makes it a perfect fit for a ragtag group of heroes. Whether it's that lovably obnoxious horn section, or the anthemic chant of Uga Chaka, Blue Swede's Hooked on a Feeling is one song which firmly belongs in the Guardians of the Galaxy universe. Hooked on a Feeling, Blue Swede, 1973, that song belongs to me! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.